Much like the GSXR family from Suzuki, the VMAX holds a special place in my heart as the second bike to scare the crap out of me, and the first bike engine I grew to hate. Just to clarify, I didn't hate it cause it's a bad engine, not at all. I hated it cause at MMI it was our timing exercise model, and you had to turn it over 32 times to get everything aligned properly. That said, had I not been recently snakebit by my Jihser trip, I probably would have killed myself on a friend's VMAX, but even riding cautiously it almost got away from me. Mad Max is the first thing that comes to my mind when I spy one of these brutes coming at me. Functional air scoops on both sides of the tank form the shoulders that give it that distinctive crouched bulldog, hidden gazelle look. While I still have a hard time seeing this ride as a cruiser, that is exactly how the factory categorizes it, an assertion backed up somewhat by the relatively relaxed rider triangle that encourages an upright riding position. The handlebars have very little pullback to them, so there is plenty of room to lean into the acceleration, and the saddle scoop is nice and deep to contain your butt when you roll it on. It's kind of an odd bird, the VMAX. It looks like it's having an identity crisis. There are undeniable strands of cruiser DNA in there, but the sport bike genes are dominant, and the bike seems to flaunt that half of its mixed heritage. <laughs>